This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine, and I'm here with John Soper with Pioneer. And John, tell me your title and what you do. Yeah, uh, John Soper. I'm the Senior Research Director for Soybean Product Development. Basically, I'm in, my team is in charge of developing new varieties for farmers here in North America, also in Latin America. Great. And you and I were just talking about soybean cyst nematode and the fact that that has become a really big problem in soybean growing areas and some of the resistance that is out there is starting to show some, uh, some wear and tear, isn't it? Uh, certainly. Uh, historically, there's been one major source of resistance. It's from a selection that's known as PI88788. It probably represents 90% uh, or more of the varieties that are out there. Uh, we've been doing work in recent years, particularly in the, the Group 2 and the early Group 1, and now expanding into the Group 3 with a new source of, a newer source of resistance called Peking, or maybe a different source of resistance that really hasn't been deployed very much. And it provides a little different race spectrum, and it can help out some growers who have issues with the PI88788 source. But going forward, it's pretty obvious that the assists continues to change a little bit in terms of its race structure and we're looking at additional source of resistance for the future. Uh, there have been some that have, that have been used a little bit in the past and actually we have a couple of varieties with that. Uh, a source called Hartwig also known as PI-437-654 PI uh, that provides a broader scope of resistance than either Peking or the PI-8788. But it's been very difficult to get the multiple genes that that source has into a variety without having a negative impact on yield. So we're working on understanding that better so we can you know, get around those issues. But there are also some additional sources of resistance that we're working on, uh, perhaps to provide some, some new options for growers. So those are down the road. What's a grower today, if he, has, he knows he has a cyst problem, what should he be doing? What would your advice be? Well, it's, it's really interesting because uh, surveys that have been done recently by the public sector indicate that mm, a majority of farmers are not sampling their fields for soybean cysts. So if you have a, a cyst issue, the first thing to do is go sample the field, figure out the population you have, and send them in for a race test or an HG type test so that they can figure out what, not only whether or not they have cysts, but what type of cysts they have. And, and with that information the uh, pioneer agronomist or their local agronomist can help them make better decisions on what types of varieties to put onto the ground. All right, thanks a lot John.